education is a really exciting industry to work in. You get to to do interesting things, to meet interesting people. One of the really cool things is that it's completely varied. There's not a typical work week. Often your your day can be very different um, from from another. It is, of course, also quite a lot of pressure. There's a lot of work and the amount of work is steadily increasing. What's being asked of higher education and its relationship to students has changed a lot with the introduction of fees. It's not just the demands have gone up, but people don't know exactly how to meet the demands. And that puts the frontline staff, the lecturers and administrators in a difficult position. Universities are not prepared for the increase in feelings of stress, in depression, and, and general mental health issues, whether among students or staff. Whilst we're preoccupied with offering the best services we can to students with resources that perhaps aren't growing at the rate we would like, other important agendas such as staff welfare and well-being um, are paid less attention. Being under pressure feels like I'm not in control of what I'm doing. I'm on a treadmill and I just know that I have to keep going. When I think of the, the effects of the pressure that might be on staff in the higher education sector, one word comes to mind more readily than others, and that's anxiety. In my role as a UCU rep, I've noticed a dramatic increase in staff mental health issues. Staff are actually finding it impossible to do their work, even to come into work to think about work. You can't, in general, show weakness. In higher education, you have to be tough. You have to, in a sense, put on a brave front whatever is going on in your personal life. That's the environment. You want to be seen to be strong for the students, you know, which is really important, but also strong with other academics. It's a competitive environment. <laughs> One of the things that I always think about having worked in higher education and student support for some time is who does take care of the people that take care of people. So I look after um, a group of students and they come and see me every so often. So that's part of the supporting students through their academic studies. And I, you know, there are times when you're having to provide the students with a boost to give them the confidence to move on and to give them a way forward. Sometimes they're really struggling. By and large, academics care a lot about their students, but it takes a lot of energy, it takes a lot of effort. As student numbers go up, there is enormous pressure on us to do more and more of what is already taking more and more time. So each individual student needs more and more pastoral care and there are more and more students. There are scenarios where you can have a student who is really stressed, really unhappy, and they're sitting with a member of staff telling them how this situation is leading them towards depression and perhaps taking antidepressants. Meanwhile, the member of staff that's trying to support them is under enormous pressure, is deeply unhappy, and may also be either depressed or becoming close to depression. Do I feel I have the same emotional support um as I provide to students? Probably not, not to the same degree. Offering the right support for staff who are supporting our students is something that perhaps is seen as something for an ideal world. But actually, having that support now can, I believe, make a meaningful difference in our service delivery to students. Internal support services can be very useful resources, but I think it would be a mistake to assume that all staff would feel comfortable using internal support. That, in effect, is saying to your employer, I have these problems, I can't do my job, and people are afraid uh, to do that in the current highly stressed environment because people can't go through the formal mechanisms. I end up being sort of their psychologist and their support person. I'm not the right person to be doing that. I think having an impartial ear that you can just talk to allows you to be yourself. 
It allows you to talk in a way that you might not talk if you were in the workplace. You can be authentic. Academics want to, to give as much as they can to the institution, to their students, to their colleagues. I think a lot of academics um, see their role as more than just their individual successes. But I think that in order to do that and to do that well, staff really need additional support.